Hey. Um, I'm really embarrassed about all the videos that I've put up. Um, they show me short hair, and I think my short hair makes me, um, worry about how I look more often than not. Um, I've been trying to play with extensions every, every year and still get out videos because I've been enjoying enjoying putting out videos, but I don't know, I don't, they come across as astral projection and travel and stuff like that, and I don't have a lot of, um, like, knowledge about that kind of stuff yet. I don't have as much as I would like, like, right now I've been having vivid dreams every night. Um, one of my dreams is I have, I'm a hermaphrodite. <laughs> And, um, I thought that was really funny, like, full-blown hermaphrodite. Um, and just taking care of, like, what I think I need by a dream. Like, just allowing, uh, physicality and thought and form to just bless me with calmness and, um, presence of being in the presence of where I am. So there was nothing really shaky going on there, but another thing is there's been um, astral projection of like light lately. I get sensitivity to these thoughts about light dripping on walls and things like that. I think that's really hilarious because like I can be so creative and I can think about books and stories and yet I still am not full of creative stuff so I still had like a lot of creative stuff to go on to make me think about that either in dream states or when I wake up just like twilight states of my being when I'm sleepy um so that was another one that has been pretty powerful um, and like, I didn't grow up with this kind of stuff, so like, thinking about it now has been like, why am I thinking about it? Why am I changing? Why has this been a part of my life now? And, uh, it's been like four years, and I'm still not done learning about it and talking about it and being it. And, um, sometimes I've been trying to read auras in a room or something like that, um, uh, one that was up today was this, like, almost robin eggs blue aura, and those, like, little or those little aura circles are a little elliptical, and practicing the thinning the veil, um, so that there was more room for spirit, and just, like, spirit in general, and spirits that are around me protecting me, and stuff like that, and some days thinning the veil is very easy for me, it's a vibrational awareness, um, and sometimes it's not, um, sometimes I think that, uh, when there's movement inside me in my twilight area where I'm focusing on the world around me as if it's in twilight, um, that's when the veil thins and I'll think about things differently. I'll think about things like in that movie, The Secret, I think it was where there was just like energy moving places that reminded you like well, over there that vibration is coming strong from you know one o'clock two o'clock like whatever my right my left that vibration is coming in strong and it feels like a blue aura like can I sense a blue aura yes I can sense a blue aura and uh, for me Sometimes the blue aura wants to speak or um, be allowed to act as if it's speaking, so it'll come by as a pink light, but you know that its presence is blue because you can tell by the way it's moving that in this twilight that there's more that the aura is doing than just standing still. So the blue aura would be like... Um, moving and feeling like it's talking. You can get really senses of feelings in these twilights. 
times and stuff like that. So yeah, it's only been four years for me. I'm a newbie. I was a four-year-old little girl waking up with her mom and being like, Mom, I'm talking about all these auras and stuff like that. They're really, they're really talking to me and, you know, I don't really know what's going on with them, but you can help me explain, right? Maybe in like five more years I'll have some like legit um, bearing on this. But, um, you know, that's, that's just what my guide tells me is around. Um, it's been really, really eclectic, and I didn't know if I really liked what it did to me physically. Uh, physically, it makes me feel lazy. Um, it makes me feel like I don't need to do my hair, or I should just keep it short, but... I don't know why it's making me feel like that. Maybe the spiritual attachment I have to this is slowness. And I shouldn't worry about what I look like. I should only worry about uh, what's going on around me, how I feel, how I can sense the auras and stuff like that. The problem is I like my hair being longer. <laughs> and I've been dying to get it back. You might see me put up some extensions because extensions are fun. And I'm going to put those up because my hair is getting longer up front so I can put them in now. But it's my my beautiful hair. Um, I went through a season of not knowing who I was, really. Uh, I guess that's where I ended up because the direction to time to change came in very suddenly. And it um, felt like there was a lot of fear in my life as to what direction I needed to go. And I still felt fear. But that was for that section of my life where it was coming up from behind and didn't really know what to do with it. So I've been making some changes lately with just friend choices and things like that because it's been um, difficult and I needed to let go. So it's kind of cool that life told me to do something and I was able to do it. Um, yeah, so that's my aura story for today. Astral travel and twilight, thinning veil stuff. I've also been reading a little bit of the New Testament. I don't know, I wanted to know if it was worth studying. Like, I like paper a lot, and that's all paper. Like, the most important uh, artifact is a paper piece of paper. Well, it's a book worth, you know, like what, 2,000 pages or something. So I was like, well, I like paper. I'm going to look at it. And so I've been circling things in a small pamphlet size one. It's a New Testament. And I think what's been happening is that my joy has been, there's been room for the clearing for my joy to come back. So, I don't know, I just don't know. I'm trying to make it more stable and stuff like that, so. Yeah. Yay. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't want to, like, go overboard on it. It's just really been thankful that it's been up there to guide, to help, to be a vibration. Because, like, that's what the book says. It says that it was there before God, with God, in heaven, before Earth, or stuff. So it's like it's a vibration that it comes from all that oneness with spirit before there was anything here and now it's here for us too and uh kind of helps us to guide us to think about things happily and joyfully and excitedly and grab onto those things like there's excitement in the world and it's going somewhere and uh so i've been reading that Making sure that's part of my life again. It's really hard. I think, um, I don't know. It's been hard lately. I think the good years were good, and now there's some bad years, and bad years happen. So, it's nothing that I did and nothing that I needed to worry about. Um, don't worry. It was in the toilet. I'm still in, in the thinning area of my of my vibration and it felt very sad just a moment. I'm not connected to this aura very strongly so it's not speaking anymore but there was a 
very small representation of it being sad uh, by movement again and that's how they seem to speak um, I'm not alone so that's it guys girls my four followers or whatever me following me watching this weird stuff it's been it's been a real four years before this it was very put together and I very much enjoyed it <laughs> I even lost it because I was worried about taking medication and because uh, I didn't feel right I still didn't feel right about taking medication and then my chemistry went all haywire after that and now it's the world I also had subsidized housing and I haven't been able to get back into it yet so that's partially my fault, but partially I just didn't know what I was doing for three years. I don't know, time is going by so fast, I guess I just remember. There's, I was re listening to something about there being like different bodies that we go through, and this is like a, one of my seven year bodies. And it's just very adventurous, I guess. I don't know. So, that's all. Um, yep, I ordered some curl hair. It's not real hair, but it's synthetic and it's the kind that you ta attach to this. I want to try those. I want to try those and I want to try these rubber bands too. Um, not, I don't know, getting out of bed and talking. <laughs> it's relaxing. Yep. Alright, so that book I read, book about creation and uncreation and all things creation, you know, the Bible. All that. And I felt like that was the end of my day so far. And I have COVID right now, so that's why I'm in bed so much, and it's kind of relaxing just to sit here and do nothing. So it's it's a ride. It's not exactly fun, but we'll figure it out, right? So if you can figure out what I'm doing, you can. Learn to thin the veil too. It's really exciting when you can learn to thin the veil. When writing about it too lately, a book. It's more it sounds like a novel, but it might help you get into vibrational awareness so that you can feel like your entity is near you and you're not alone in that way. Um, it's kind of like a muse, like an artist's muse. Um, but they come and they go as they please really hard to just like attach yourself to but once you're in it you're in it and it kind of comes and it goes and you feel safe with it and stuff like that so um what am I supposed to say I like my life I like it a lot it just feels kind of unstable right now well, this changed, or I've changed, or I've moved, and the places I am at now are definitely different in the places than I was before. So, I'm taking it slow, getting things that I need together, you know. Um, 